Hello everybody! Today we are back again for another favorites video. Today's favorites are February favorites. These are what I like to call my creative favorites. Anything that I found that I thought was awesome and creative and I wanted to share with you. Let's just get right into it. This last month I have really, really enjoyed following Chris Hardwick on Instagram. Um, I followed him for a long time. I watch him a lot because we watch Walking Dead and he does Talking Dead. Oh, Daryl. Oh, Daryl. <laughs> He's just all over the nerd universe, including podcasts and internet and television and everywhere. And we love Chris Hardwick here. Um, but one of the things I've loved about Chris Hardwick this last month is that he purchased a new home and it's like an old home and he's like restoring it. And so one of my favorite things is that on Instagram, his Instagram stories, he's basically just every, almost every day or like every other day, he's just showing you different things that he's doing to this house. And it's so interesting. I mean, I might as well be watching an HGTV show, but like better because it's Chris Hardwick and he's awesome. Um, and it's just so cool to see like what how the house is coming along. What is he gonna do to it? What are these like weird things that uh, is going on with the house and how are they gonna fix it? And what new things did he buy at like a swap meet or from like this strange person who had this really cool stuff? Or like what did he, he like punched a hole in the wall and because he heard that there was basically this like secret section to the house that was closed up. So he punched, he, they basically drilled through the wall because it was cemented and found like all this space that wasn't used and they were like is there a dead body in there it wasn't but it was just like so interesting and i'm mean, so intrigued by it and i just love that he's doing it i know he kind of did it. he's just doing it because he's he's just showing people because this is what he's going through but i'm just like super into it it's basically like a vlog slash diy home show and i'm so into it so first of all thank you chris hardwick for being willing to share all of that with us and second of all make sure to follow him on instagram so that you too can see his stories because they're great the second thing on my list is a youtuber that i really really like right now let's talk about peter mckinnon what's up everybody welcome to another day in the city because i really enjoy peter mckinnon um the thing that i really connect with for Peter is that he was he was um, a videographer and photographer for a lot of different things. He's done um, photography for like still photography and all kinds of stuff. But he, when I first started watching him, I found out that he was a videographer for weddings, and that's something that I actually do. I'm not a videographer, but I'm an editor. I edit a lot of weddings, and so it was just something that I felt like connected. And he talked a lot about strategies for um, videographers and the things that they do when they're um, shooting footage and what editors like and just all of that really I connected a lot with the way that he um, creates the way that he creates content because I'm someone who edits a lot of content that's very somewhat similar to what he makes. Not quite as much anymore, but what he started out kind of making. And um, it's so interesting to watch him and the way that he, I guess you could call it vlogs. Um, he sort of vlogs, but he's really more of a cinematographer. He just goes out where he is and wh whatever he's doing and he films things in just like amazing ways and then edits them together and also in amazing ways. And I just love, watching what he's doing because it really does inspire me to like try to edit better and do things differently and how to use it and what kind of things can you do with footage and so i just really love watching him um watching his content that he's putting out and i think he's also a, a very positive person on youtube right now someone who wants to create content someone who wants to keep creating new things um and really doesn't care to get into the um any sort of political side of things any sort of social like drama nothing he, he doesn't want to be negative ever he just wants to create content and create something really amazing and i love that and i that's what i want to see um on youtube so he's just a great um content creator on youtube that i think you should follow that you should go check out so please do that so the next two are movies and television shows that i really love and let's just start with um my favorite television show that I watched in February, Halt and Catch Fire. Um, 
It was out for four years. It no longer airs. Um, it was on AMC. I watched it when it started and then I kind of fell back and not because I was bored, but I like we just didn't have time to catch up and then we were just so behind and so I just never really fully caught up to it. So while I was editing and doing a lot of work, I decided that was what I wanted to watch. I wanted to go back. So I went back and watched season two because I wanted to kind of refresh my memory and then I watched season three and four, um, I don't know, in probably the span of like two, three weeks. And it was so good. I'm so glad that I watched it and finished it. I'm sad that it's not like it's done, completely done, but it's such an amazing show. Like I love it so much. All the actors are brilliant in it and um, of course, it is a lot more of a tech style show. If you don't know anything about the show, basically, Hall and Catch Fire is about, um, I would say, four individuals who are really on the cusp of technology in the 80s. Tell me one thing that will be true about computers 10 years from now. Computers will be connected together across one network with a standard protocol. Like phone lines? Obviously, phone lines. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron how? It's kind of a, like an homage to that, um, how the, um, kind of how like different technology was created. They go to like the conventions and build computers and companies around computers and how things started on the web and the internet and how companies started back in the day and just, but it's also like obviously a drama between these four people and like, um, the story is just so well made and I love the characters that they created in the show because they're so, the characters are really quite in-depth characters and um, true to life characters. No, no, Donna. Mutiny isn't just my job, it's who I am. It's who I am too. I couldn't sleep all week. I could ignore the mountain of complaints in my inbox, but I care too much. Absolutely, if you've never watched Halt and Catch Fire, make sure to go check it out. I loved it so much. I'm so glad that I finished it and watched all of it. I'm sad that it's over, but I do love how they finished it all and how they um, connected everything together over the four seasons. Um, and I, I don't want to spoil a lot of it, but I do really love how they um, kind of praised women in technology um, as part of it, and that was super cool. So uh, please go watch it. It's on Netflix. You won't regret it. Um, I, I just, I wish I could, I wish, you know, some shows, there's some shows where like, I wish I could watch it for the first time again, but I'll never be able to do that. And this show is one of those. Um, I will definitely go back and watch it. Even when I rewatched the second season, I realized how much I still loved watching something I had already seen. So I definitely will be going back and watching it again because I think it's so great. It's so amazing and it's definitely worth your time. The movie that I wanted to choose for February um, I just watched it last, this last Tuesday, um, and I loved it. It was definitely my favorite movie of this, the month. Um, possibly so far my favorite movie that I've seen this year. That says a lot for me because the movie is Black Panther, and it's a Marvel movie, action movie, superhero movie, all of which... I don't hate any of those things, but they are not really in my genre of movies that I love. Um, they're not, it, I'm not much of an action movie person. I'm not that into um, hero, superheroes and superhero stories. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. Um, I will watch them. I find them can be entertaining, but I've never really like invested in them and Black Panther just totally changed that for me. Um, I think that they did an incredible job. Um, all of the, everyone who acted in the film, um, all of the cinematography and CGI and um, just everything, all of that was incredible and just a joy to watch but the biggest 
like the biggest praise I have for the movie is that is just the way that they told the story and um, how they integrated all of these different cultures. They looked for it in South America, but it was in Africa the whole time. And uh, lifestyles into the film and oh, I'm just, I'm so proud of the people who created it. We are good. And I'm so excited for what, um, kind of what it means for superhero movies, but just like movies in general um, going forward from here. I think there's a, so much potential that people can take from this film and integrate it into other films that they will create in the future. And I really hope that that's what happens, that that really is the case, that people to take it to heart and that they're really inspired by what the creators of this movie have done. Um, if you haven't seen it, you need to go to the theater and watch it as soon as possible. Um, you will not regret watching it. You will be fully impressed by what you've seen, and you'll be happy that I think you. I think and I think you'll be happy that you saw it on the big screen because I think it's definitely worth that. And lastly, I just want to talk about an app that I recently downloaded, um, and I think it's really great. And it's been around for a while, and I'm kind of like getting onto the bandwagon with it, but um, it's an app called Duolingo, and it's basically an app that allows you to learn new languages. And I think it's fantastic because it's almost like learning a language but playing a game at the same time. Um, I do think it has a few glitches because I've noticed that even though I'm telling them the right translation, it's saying that I'm wrong, so that's weird. But only sometimes, um, most of the times it works seamlessly and I really, really like it. Um, I'm excited to learn a new language. I started with Spanish because I think that's the most important thing for me to learn. I have friends and um, church family members and people that I've known for a really long time that speak Spanish, so I wanna know how to speak Spanish. So I started there. Um, I also, you can learn more than one at a time, so I did start with Dutch as well because I am I am Dutch, so I think it would be cool. And I have a friend who's Dutch and I really would love to be able to speak Dutch, but I think that'll take a little while longer because, um, I mean, learning one language for me is a lot. So, um, but I just really like the app. I think they've really created something fantastic. I think it's a really interesting way to learn a language. Um, I think that it's something that I will actually continue to go back to and like, learn from it may take me a little longer but i also really love they have so you have these different sections where you learn um, new things over time so you learn new um, like terms over time but then you learn how to put them into sentences and how to use them but you can also go back to where you've already been and like practice that again so that you like refresh your brain um, and then it, it's like a game so you receive like different kinds of points and level ups and things like that as you're going along. So it makes it something that you want to come back to and you want to keep learning. So hopefully that is the case because I really do want to learn how to speak Spanish. And so I think it will be, I think this is going to be the best way for me to actually learn. I'm excited too because my nephew and my niece are learning Spanish as well in school. And so I can like try to learn it too and then we can, I can try to speak to them in Spanish and see if they think I'm ridiculous or not. So um, I really like the app and I definitely think you should t check it out. It's free, so why not? Why not learn a language for free because you have a smartphone? Like, what a great idea. I love that so much. And the creators of that app, I would like to tell you that you're awesome for creating that. That it is such a great app. And thank you for offering it to me for free because that's what I need. Um, because I'm a cheapskate, but I also really want to learn stuff. So um, thank you for that. And I definitely think that you and like the rest of the world should download this app so that they can also learn different languages and we can speak to each other in each other's languages. How cool is that? Okay, so that's all of my creative favorites for February. 
I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that you get the chance to check them out. Um, please, if you do check them out, let me know. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought about them. Or if you've already checked them out, what you think about them already. Um, tell me what your favorites are for the month. Like, what movies did you watch? What TV shows did you watch? Um, what are you watching on YouTube? Um, who are you following on Instagram? What apps have you downloaded? Like, let me know. I really want to know. Um, because I like to find new things to watch. I like to download. Apps are, like, one of my favorite things to check out so um, please let me know because I would like to check them out too and make sure to come back for my March favorites and I'm also going to hopefully be doing a special video in a couple of weeks so make sure to subscribe so that if I post any videos I post a vlog every week I might post a new extra video and I'm also going to post my favorites so if you subscribe you'll get notified and you'll know that um, I posted a video and it's free so why not um, so hopefully you'll come back and you'll tell your friends and I will see you very soon. Goodbye everybody!